Hi Sagittarius, Sun Rising and Venus and welcome to your love reading for the remaining days of March 2023. I'll be taking a look at your love interest, their feelings and actions they plan on taking. Please keep in mind that this will not resonate with all of you, so you're more than welcome to check your other placements. Alright Sagittarius, let's go ahead and see what does this person on your mind want to tell you? I just want spirit. What does this person want to tell Sagittarius? Their energy surrounding Sagittarius at this time. One card. I just want spirit and share messages. All right. So under the deck, you have thoughts. I've been in my head about you constantly. Obligations. I want to get away from the burdens I have to deal with, but I'm stuck right now. Okay, wow, Sagittarius. Yeah, I feel an overthinking energy. Your person's constantly, constantly thinking about you. I feel like you're weighing very heavy on this person's mind. And to top it off, I feel like they have a lot of worries going on right now. I feel like they might be having issues at work, family, just responsibilities here in general. Let's see what's going on. For some of you, this person could be going through karma, all right? That's for very few of you. Cross watchers could be vice versa. Tell me about this person's feelings for Sagittarius. Someone could already be in a relationship. Very small message for some of you. Yeah, this person's in their head. Nine of Swords. Knight of Cups. Under the deck, the star card. Okay. Strong Aquarius here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Two of Cups right under that. And Earth Energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. All right. All right. So Sagittarius, where do I even start? I feel like right now your person's feeling hopeless. There could have been a disconnect between you two. I feel like they have or they feel a very powerful connection with you, spiritual, okay? They could be feeling like you're, you're their soulmate. Um, this person right now could also be struggling financially, okay? But they're feeling hopeless here. If you were in a relationship with this person, they're thinking about the times that you two were together and it's driving them nuts. They're losing sleep over this. They regret losing you. They regret not being emotionally mature in the connection. That's what I'm picking up on. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing like I was very emotionally immature. I acted like a child. Why didn't I put more effort? You're haunting this person. Okay, I mean, look at this. I don't know if you can see a little ghost up here, you know. I feel like this person feels haunted by you, especially if you two were in a relationship. They're thinking about the times you two shared, how much you invested in the connection. And if you're not in a relationship with this person or you never were Sagittarius, they could be desiring this with you or they did want this with you, but something could have happened. Or they could be feeling like they're not good enough for you. See, tell me more of this person's feelings for Sagittarius. Ace of Cups in reverse. They're feeling like you lost feelings for them. They feel like you no longer care about them, no longer see what they're up to. You completely shut them off. They don't have access to you anymore. That's what I'm feeling. A card flew out here. One second. The Strength card in reverse, Leo energy. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you, Sagittarius. I'm feeling a pretty heavy energy here. I'm starting to get headaches, okay, so I don't know if this person literally is not eating well. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries or a Virgo. Ten of Cups in reverse. They feel like their whole world has just been taken away from them. For some of you, this is an ex or someone that you were very close to committing to, okay? I'm feeling that very heavy. Um, they feel like they lost control over the situation. They're feeling restless, stuck, bound. What actions does this person plan on taking? 
Yeah, there could have de been definitely some heartbreak here, Sag. Three of Swords. What actions does this person plan on taking towards Sagittarius? Remaining days, March 2023. The world in reverse. The wheel of fortune. Some of you could be dealing with someone at a distance, someone who has different religion, ethnicity, background, justice in reverse, Libra energy. Wow, 10 of swords in reverse. High priestess, one more. Page of Wands in reverse. The devil. Wow. Some some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Okay. Capricorn, Virgo, Sagittarius, uh, Cancer, Aquarius. I think I said Virgo already. Could be any sign, but they could have one of these placements very strong in their chart. Maybe even Pisces or Scorpio. So... I don't feel like this person will be communicating because that's Sagittarius because you could have already rejected this person or they're scared of rejection here but you are weighing very heavy in this person's mind and I will say they are in denial that this relationship is over the world and the ten of swords in reverse it's like unfinished business they refuse to believe this is over they don't want this to be over and they don't believe that it's over so yeah it's a little bit psychotic i'm not gonna lie especially with the devil card here uh capricorn energy i feel like they're obsessed with you i feel like they're obsessively thinking here in the remaining days of march but things could have ended bad or things could have been you know there could have been a lack of closure court could have got involved the authority could have gotten involved i don't know what happened here maybe you guys were planning to get married or there was a divorce situation here but see tell me more actions this person plans on taking towards sagittarius three of pentacles see they want to reconcile they do want to reconcile with the three of pentacles but that's not really an action here four of cups because i said they're scared of rejection you know, I said this literally a few seconds ago. They're scared of rejection. Some of you could be dealing with someone who's a little bit manipulating here. They want the power. They want the control. They refuse to be the first one to give in here. But look what they're doing to, the, to themselves. Ten of Wands. They're burning themselves. They're draining themselves. Pride and ego is really affecting this person. They're depressed. I hate to say it, but they're dealing with mild depression. Heartbroken. They, they're even struggling financially here. Action this person plans on taking. Five of Swords. This is why I was feeling headaches. They're giving themselves headaches. Instead of just confronting the situation or I guess growing a pair, I should say. Okay, and cross watchers could be vice versa, but this is what I'm seeing. They're running away from their problems instead of confronting them. And again with the Ten of Wands under the deck. Oh boy. Let's see. What advice do you have for Sagittarius when it comes to this person? What advice? The Tower, the Queen, the King of Cups in reverse, and the Emperor. So, yeah. I feel like your advice, Sagittarius, is to remain in your power here. Stay grounded, okay? You know what really happened. I mean, if it was your fault, then, you know, yeah, approach the situation with love. You know, um, and if it wasn't your fault, then this person honestly needs to grow a pair and apologize or fix the situation. But Spirit is saying that, you know, keep calm here. One more advice for Sagittarius when it comes to this person. The lovers in reverse. I feel like for some of you, it's not even your, like, how do I even say this? You're not even the one who has to make the decision or the choice. Like you're like basically the ball is on this person's court. Maybe you try to heal the situation. You tried to work things out. You try to bring balance. Okay. But again, if you do reach out to this person or if you feel like you're the one who needs to apologize or say something, then definitely 
just remain calm try to you know heal if necessary and just approach the situation in a calm loving manner okay yeah because someone may need to apologize here or forgive right sometimes when sometimes we just need to forgive not to take somebody back or to you know allow them back in our life but simply to have that peace within ourselves right so let's see what else does this person want to tell you what else does this person want to tell Sagittarius surrender I can't be apart from you much longer sorry please accept my apology so we can move past this you see I feel like it's this person it's this person that needs to apologize here Sagittarius you know cross watches could be vice versa but what else does this person want to tell Sagittarius and just Holy Spirit and the clear messages choice I'm trying to make a very difficult decision and it involves you yeah so and I feel like maybe this person could have been very selfish. I love the way you make me feel, but I can't give this him in return. So yeah, karma. I told you, for some of you, this person is going through karma. My life is falling apart and I'm struggling. So that's what I'm seeing, Sagittarius. If it didn't resonate, feel free to check your other placements. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers who continue to love and support my channel. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.